Hey guys, Jared back. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have been hearing all the news about OmniROM. Well, OmniROM at the moment is only available to a few select devices, one of which is the Nexus 4. So I decided to flash it and see what all the fuss is about. Um, this is still, I want to keep you, know, you to keep in mind that this is still in extremely, extremely early stages of development. Um, so not a whole lot has been added to the ROM itself. It's based off of AOSP Android 4.3. It's built been built from literally the ground up. And what they're going to be doing is actually taking uh, ideas and patches from other ROMs, um, enhancing them, making them, as far as they're concerned, better, and then including it in the ROM. Of course, all of this will be voted upon the by the community. Uh, so with that said, here it is. Let's go ahead and take a little look-see at it. So um, moving into the applications drawer, there really isn't anything here different from stock Android. Uh, everything you see here is what you normally get. Um, as you can see, nothing different there. Uh, let's go ahead and pull down the notification tray, jump into settings here so we can take a look at in there. Um, as you can see, really nothing different here. Um, we do have bars and menus that we can muck around with so we can change the different battery style. Um, things are gonna get added over time so you know be patient right that's you know it's a brand new ROM uh, and a big project at that uh, brightness control so you can change the different brightness control uh, show notification count translucent uh, lock screen status bar so if I go ahead and lock phone and unlock you'll notice the status bar is translucent though I am pretty sure should they should be calling it transparent but it's the same thing um, and we also have translucent navigation bar so you'll notice if I go to the home screen it's actually somewhat you can see the little particles behind it kind of creeping out though it's not that translucent um, anyways so we'll go ahead and jump back into settings there and we'll move on to active display um, so you can enable or disable it notification text all notifications pocket mode um, redisplay notifications which is kind of neat show date show am pm and notification brightness and and that's pretty much it there really isn't anything else um as far as uh you know a vast majority of customizations and things like that that you'll normally find in the settings menu though one of the big things that a lot of people are really um, interested in is the multi-window support that this rom comes with and to be honest with you other than samsung stock uh, stock Samsung custom firmwares, I should say, custom Samsung firmwares. Um, I've never seen that anywhere else. So this is kind of neat. So let's go ahead and show you how that works. So I'll go ahead and open up the messaging application. We'll go ahead and open up the browser. Just as an example, you jump into your recent tasks. And so you'll notice that you've got your recent tasks, but how do we make that um, multi-window support? So go ahead, long press, and you'll notice it says there, add to split view. So we go ahead and click on add to split view, toss it at the top there. And let's go ahead and add another one. Let's say, for instance, maybe even the settings menu. And we can add to split view. And now, as you can see, we've got two applications running on stock Android, Android 4.3. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's 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 a pretty big step forward. And I'd like to see this added to uh, more ROMs, um, in fact. Though, to be honest with you guys, I don't actually use multi-window support. I know, I know, it's bad, right? Take advantage of it when you can. But uh, nevertheless, so really cool to see. The only thing is is that I don't know how to close these down. So let's say, for instance, I was like, okay, cool. So click on the home button. I'm back to my home screen. And let's say, for instance, I wanted to um, get back into the settings menu again. It brings it up on the bottom half of the screen. So I'm like, hey, so how do I get rid of that? I mean, you can't, can you go like that? And we can pull these down again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It wasn't doing that before. Anyways, um, there's quite a few bugs, important bugs, and they're not so much bugs, just things that aren't working at the moment, um, that aren't exactly at the top of the priority list, because they've got some different things. Bluetooth isn't working, and uh, various other things. You can check them out in the link in the description below, um, which will lead you straight to their uh, to their official um, XDA page. Uh, anyways, guys, just thought I'd give you a quick little sort of um, overview of it. It is stock Android. It's Android 4.3. Um, it's very, very early builds. In fact, this particular build uh, was a homemade build by, of course, they're all homemade, uh, so to speak, but um, by Explode Wild. Uh, there's the version number right there, or the build number, I should say. And of course, as you can see, it's Android 4.3. Uh, anyways, guys, um, you know, stay tuned for more updates on this ROM here. You know, as it starts to progress and we start seeing more features added and it becomes more of a well-rounded, robust, uh, feature-packed um, ROM, I'm sure I'll be doing much more videos on it in the future. But at this point in time, um, at least there's a bit of a video on it. Uh, you know what? Let's check out and see... If there's anything different, no, I'm not really expecting miracles here, um, but 
Nope. So nothing. It's it's very very limited in its functionality, obviously, and, and customization. So, anyways, like I said before, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos like this in the future. If you like the video, click that likes button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.